guys and welcome to another WoW video. Uh, I think this is going to be a video anyway. I am just guessing that I may be done the trading post. I've just taken a wild guess. So let's see if I'm accurate. There we go. Okay, so good guess on that part. So we can actually do this. This will be a perfect first one to do because I can show you that you no longer need to go to Stormwind. I guess it tells you right there. But yeah, that was one of the very first things I discovered with the new expansion was that the trading post was in there. So you can go to Stormwind or you can go to Dornagal. So I'm going to go to Dornagal um, to show you guys where it is basically. Okay, so it's just down here. So here's the flight path. And you can just go kind of over and then down here. So very easy to find. Here's the map opened in case you need it. Well, actually, yeah, I forgot that they put the icon on the map now. So yeah, it's like you don't even need a video. They're, they're slowly making us YouTubers... Uh, irrelevant I guess yeah <laughs> which is why I actually prefer to just do gameplay videos you know just like chill relax entertainment type value because especially with WoW with add-ons and then with uh, Blizzard finally putting legit icons on the maps uh, yeah, I'd, I don't want to say you'd have to be stupid to not know where shit is, because, like, there could be some new players in the, uh, in the game, but, um, but they make it pretty obvious now, so. Okay, anyway, let's grab our goodies. I don't even know what, like, I haven't really looked at the trading post, um, uh, ahead of time this time, so. Oh! Okay, nice. So that's the Plunder Lord Golden Crocolisk. I knew he was part of the trading post, but I thought he was on the vendor, so very nice. They must have been listening to people bitch about the fact that the reward... Like, doing the task bar, which is this, what you saw when I completed it. Doing the task bar, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I usually show you what I did to earn. So here's what we did. It was all just... It was all just expansion stuff, you know? Like, this is the easiest trading post. Um, because, um because it's new expansion, like the first month of a new expansion, right? So it was just all expansion stuff. Very easy. So here is, here's my Bruce, which I've been kind of religiously riding this mount since Legion. Yeah, that's when I got it, was in Legion. And, uh, and yeah, I've already told Bruce that we're just collecting the golden crocolisk. No, no crocolisk is going to take over you, Bruce. You are the best. Yeah. He just gets collected. So, but because it's a trading post video, I will at least bring him out for you guys. I keep forgetting to delete that stupid add-on. Um, there he is. So, got coins on him. So, he's not bad. But, to be fair, I don't like the whole coins on him look. It looks weird. I get, I get it. It's plunder. He's got a treasure chest on his back. Like, I get why. I just, uh, you know... I think it looks good in the treasure chest, but I just don't like it scattered around his body. Yeah. But that is the mount there. 
I never have any currency. I had 30 currency before getting our thousand. Okay, so we got the Plunderlord Radiant Finery. Oh, is this another crocolisk? So I was right. There was a crocolisk on here. I was pretty certain there was. I just didn't realize there were two on the same month. Yeah. Interesting that they did that. I may actually skip him. Uh, it depends if I decide to freeze him, but I just got a crocolisk. Like, I don't feel the need for two of the same mount. You know, the only difference is the color of the saddle, really. Like, yeah, everything else looks the same. It's just the saddle and, you know, the yellow is the difference. Um, so, yeah, and I have a mount frozen that is more unique than this is. Yeah. Claudius, which is a reskin of Fathom. And then we got the green Brewfest of Bulwark. Alchemist Bendolier. Blademaster Lively Stones. Frenzied Hat of the Murky Waters. Plunderlord Radiant Cutlass. Plunderlord Radiant Sigil. That's the weapon. Cursed Copper Crossbow. Felguard Warglaive. Or Felglade, I mean. <laughs> Plunderlord Radiant Hand Cannon. Um, Plunderlord Radiant Neck Severer. Plunderlord Radiant Rapier. Whoops. Classic Camo Tab. Fine Gloves of the Forest. High Grade Blade of the Four Bade. Jade Blade of the Four Bade. Raider's Camo Sarong. The Wobby's Cap. Dueler's Camo Shoulder Cape. Emerald Drape. A simple Copper Staff. Amber Scale Treads. And the Emerald Scale Treads. And then returning items, we have the Sky Captain Formal Attire. Trapper's Munitions. Heavily Stitched Wallet. The Niffin Hat. The Vagabond's Lively Threads. Wanderer's Lively Trapping. The Honed Bastard Sword. Crocal Gizarm. Orange Sleeve Shirt. Sharpened shank, and then the homebrewer sampling chest or crust. I mean, <laughs> I got that one last year, so so yay! Okay, so to be fair, there really wasn't anything I care about. So I guess we're kind of lucking out in the fact that there honestly isn't any transmog stuff I care about. There's no toys this month. And, um, and I had already said that I was fine getting one crocolisk. So yeah, you know. I always hate to pass on mounts, but to be fair, I am. I used to play for FOMO. We don't anymore. I broke the FOMO, the FOMO game. You know, like I, yeah. So I'm okay. I'm okay leaving the mount. Um, but I do want this mount that I froze because this was from last month. 
and I had to make a decision between Alliance Mount and Horde Mount. They both looked really good, and I thought the Horde looked better, so I bought the Horde one. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I would like, I like, it, it's funny how they say this has been removed from the game. Like, weird. Weird that it says that. But because I am a mount farmer, I will freeze Crocolisk. I just don't know if it's ever gonna actually get bought because there's always a mount on the trading post. So, it's probably gonna get replaced with some other mount as far as being frozen, so yeah. Yeah, because we can never get ahead with the mounts always being, you know. It's one thing I do kind of wish is that they would, like, choose mount or pet and, like, cycle it out every odd month. That way maybe I'd have the chance in saving a little currency. On a plus note, Claudius is only 330, which is pretty good for a pet. I am more a mount person than a pet person in WoW, though, so, yeah. But I am gonna buy this. So this is the frozen item. Technically, I could get the pet, but, you know, because I have enough, but I'm, I'm gonna struggle to get the mount then. Yeah, I think I will just... It wouldn't be such a big deal if I didn't think I would screw myself over when you only get a thousand per month and a mount is always on there every month and it's always almost a thousand. Like, yeah, I have to be so unbelievably careful. Like, yeah, I just, I don't even know why I still do these trading post videos. So don't be surprised if they do actually come to a stop at a point. Um, because, like, honestly, I think the trading post pisses me off more and more every month I do it, because I can never actually get the things I want. Or Kronda War Saber. Yeah, he's a pretty one. And then I guess we will freeze the other mount. And that's it. Yep, yeah, that is all I was interested in. I'm gonna keep the 430. Like, yes, I could go get Claudius and have a hundred, but you know. To be fair, what I'm banking on is that next month the mount is 600 again. That would be really nice. And then I'd be able to take this one out of Frozen and get the next one and kind of, you know, I I personally hate having things in Frozen because Frozen's kind of like your lifeline, you know? But it's nicer to be able to just afford the things without putting it in Frozen. Like, Frozen is... Frozen is not supposed to be something you do every month. It's supposed to be in that off chance you need it. Like, yeah, I hate that we need it every month. Okay, so there's our guy. I'm happy he's out of Frozen. Anyway, that's the trading post, guys. Let me know what you bought for this month. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.